File Test 3 Listening 2 Welcome back, everyone. Now, holidays are big business these days, and one type of holiday that's becoming more popular with the 18 to 30 age group is the adventure holiday. With me in the studio is Kim Dawson, who's just returned from this kind of holiday, and she's going to tell us what's involved. Thanks for joining us, Kim. Thanks for having me. So, tell me first of all why you were interested in going on an adventure holiday. Well, I was bored of going on the usual sunshine holiday, you know, lying on a beach sunbathing for a week, and so I wanted to try something different. I also wanted to learn some new activities. I'm quite sporty anyway, so I thought why not try something different? And I knew I'd meet lots of people who are interested in the same kind of things as I am. There's nothing wrong with the friends I've already got, of course. I just wanted to meet some like-minded people too. Sure. Where did you go on your adventure holiday? Oh, I spent ages researching that and changed my mind so many times. The US is one of the most popular places for adventure holidays, mainly because there's so much you can do there, and I was very keen to go, but the price put me off in the end. Canada's great too, but it's not cheap either. So I went for Ireland in the end. It's not too far away and we saw some beautiful scenery while we were there. The weather wasn't great, but we sort of expected that. Yes, indeed. So what was your favourite activity while you were there? My favourite? Mm, to be honest, I liked everything we did and we did so many things. I learned how to surf. The waves are just right for that. We had a few sailing lessons too, and they were fun. Hard work, but enjoyable. One thing which was really great though, was horse riding along the coastal paths. Just miles and miles of peace and quiet and lovely sea views. That was very relaxing. Did you spend all of your time at the coast? No, the holiday started off inland. We camped in the mountains and learned how to manage without all the modern bits and pieces that we're used to at home. Then we travelled to a completely different area and explored some caves. It was only the last four or five days that we spent near the sea. Was everyone able to manage all the activities they were asked to do? Yes, they were actually. And that's because we were divided into groups according to our abilities. The guides wanted us to push ourselves and try hard, but they were realistic about what we could and couldn't do. We had a big age range on the holiday too, but we all had to try everything. Well, it sounds like you had a great time. And thanks for sharing your experience with us here today. Thanks.